Did you know that 78% of American workers live paycheck to paycheck? Surprising, isn't it? It's a harsh reality we are living in, where the norms of personal finance management are more like a maze than a straight path. We've all heard the same old advice, right? Save for the rainy day, invest in your retirement, don't put all your eggs in one basket. But let's face it, the one-size-fits-all approach doesn't work when it comes to managing your money. Your financial situation is as unique as your fingerprint and it demands a personalized touch. It's time we shattered the norm and explored some unconventional financial wisdom. Intrigued? Well, you should be. We are about to take you on a thrilling ride debunking some finance myths and revealing five shocking personal finance tips that your financial advisor probably won't tell you. So, buckle up as we dive into the world of finance and debunk some myths. Ever wondered how much you're really paying for your investments? You might be in for a shock. Let's back the curtain on this finance wizardry. Every investment comes with a fee. Yes, even the ones that your financial advisor calls free. These fees often hidden in the fine print can take a big bite out of your returns over time. They are like termites munching away at your investment gains bit by bit. Consider this scenario. You've invested $100,000 in a mutual fund with an annual fee of 2%. You might think, 2%, that's peanuts. But let's do the math. 2% of $100,000 is $2,000. That's $2,000 each year, not just once. Over a period of 20 years, that's a whopping $40,000. And that's not even counting the potential earnings that $40,000 could have made if it were invested instead. But don't despair. There are cost-effective alternatives to high-fee investments. Index funds, for example, are a type of mutual fund with a low expense ratio. They aim to replicate the performance of a specific index so they require less active management and hence, carry lower fees. Another player in the cost-effective game is robo-advisors. These are digital platforms that provide automated, algorithm-driven financial planning services with little to no human supervision. Because they operate online and use algorithms to manage portfolios, robo-advisors can offer their services for a fraction of the cost of a traditional advisor. So, the moral of the story, high fees can cost you a fortune in the long run. But by being savvy and cost-effective investment options, you can keep more of your hard-earned money in your pocket. Remember, every dollar you save on fees is a dollar that can be invested for growth. Small changes today can mean big savings tomorrow. So next time before you invest, remember to check those hidden fees. And if you're finding our tips useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more financial insights. Have you been religiously building your emergency fund while your debt keeps piling up? Time to rethink. Pause for a moment and consider this. The idea of having an emergency fund is comforting, isn't it? It's like your financial safety net, always there to catch you if you stumble. But what if, in the process of weaving this safety net, you're sinking deeper into the quicksand of high-interest debt? The traditional advice you'll often hear is to build a full emergency fund before even thinking about paying off high-interest debt. But let's challenge that notion. Let's turn the telescope around and see things from a different perspective. Now don't get us wrong, we're not suggesting you throw caution to the wind, and neglect your emergency fund altogether. No, far from it. What we're advocating for is a balanced approach, a middle ground. Think of it as walking a tightrope. On one side, you have your emergency fund. On the other, your high interest debt. You need to maintain your balance or you risk falling. So, how do you do that? Start by building a smaller emergency fund, maybe enough to cover a month or two of expenses. Then, shift your focus towards paying off that high interest debt. Why? Because the longer you let it sit, the more it grows, and the harder it becomes to pay off. But remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. Everyone's financial situation is unique. Some people might be able to pay off their debt faster while others might need a larger emergency fund. The key is to understand your financial situation and make informed decisions. And here's the best part. Once you've managed to pay off your high-interest debt, you can redirect those funds towards building a more robust emergency fund. It's like killing two birds with one stone. You reduce your debt and increase your savings simultaneously. Remember, it's not just about saving, it's also about smartly managing your debt. Ever thought of becoming your own financial advisor? It's not as far-fetched as you think. Welcome to the era of do-it-yourself investing. It's a revolution that's reshaping the financial world, and it's all thanks to the democratization of investing. No longer is investing a privilege of the elite. It's now something you can do from the comfort of your home, in your pajamas, with a cup of coffee in hand. So what's fueling this DIY investing revolution? Technology, for starters. 
Today's digital world is teeming with tools that make investing more accessible than ever. Low-cost index funds and robo-advisors are leading the pack. They're a testament to how far we've come from stockbrokers and phone calls to a few taps on a smartphone. Let's talk about low-cost index funds first. These funds are designed to mimic the performance of a specific market index. They're a great way to diversify your portfolio without needing to research and buy individual stocks. Plus, they come with low expense ratios, which means more of your money stays in your pocket. But what if you want a more hands-off approach? That's where robo-advisors come in. These digital platforms use algorithms to create and manage your portfolio based on your risk tolerance and investment goals. They're like your personal financial advisor, but without the high fees and the need for face-to-face -face meetings. It's important to note though that DIY investing isn't a walk in the park. It requires time, effort, and a good deal of financial knowledge. But don't let that deter you. With the wealth of resources available today, learning about investing has never been easier. So are you ready to take control of your financial future? It may seem daunting at first, but remember, every expert was once a beginner. Start small, learn as you go, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. After all, the best way to learn is by doing. So, who knows, the next successful investor could be you. Knowledge is power, and when it comes to finance, it's also wealth. Let's take a moment to appreciate how empowering it is to take control of our financial knowledge. You see, the world of finance isn't some exclusive club. It's a realm that's open to all who dare to venture into it. And the ticket to entry? It's not a fancy degree or a hefty bank account, it's financial education. Financial education isn't just about understanding the difference between a stock and a bond. It's about learning how to make your money work for you. It's about discovering how to build a wealth-generating machine that can set you on the path to financial freedom. And the beautiful part? It's a lifelong journey where every day presents an opportunity to learn something new. But how do you embark on this journey, you ask? Well, it starts with a commitment. A commitment to learn, a commitment to put in the time and effort needed to understand the financial world. It's not always going to be easy, and it's not always going to be fun. But, as the saying goes, nothing worth having comes easy. Once you've made that commitment, it's time to start exploring. Books, online courses, podcasts, blogs, there's a wealth of resources out there just waiting to be tapped into. The key is to find what resonates with you, what sparks your interest, what fuels your curiosity. That's where you start. But remember, learning is only half the battle. The real magic happens when you start applying what you've learned, when you start making informed decisions about your money when you stop letting others dictate your financial future and start taking the reins yourself. As you navigate this journey, you'll make mistakes. You'll stumble. You'll fall. But that's okay. Because every mistake, every stumble, every fall is an opportunity to learn. An opportunity to grow. And with every step, you'll become more financially savvy, more financially confident, and ultimately more financially free. So let's embrace the power of financial education. Let's commit to learning, to growing, and to taking control of our financial future. Because in the world of finance, knowledge truly is power. Remember, the more you learn, the more you earn. And that's a wrap on our journey through the world of personal finance. We've dared to question conventional wisdom, revealing how critical it is to understand your individual financial situation. We've delved into the hidden world of high fees, exposing their impact on your hard-earned investment returns and showcasing cost-effective alternatives. We've challenged the traditional advice of prioritizing a full emergency fund over paying off high-interest debt, arguing for a balanced approach. We've considered the option of DIY investing, highlighting the potential benefits for those willing to put in the time and effort. And finally, we've underscored the importance of continuous financial education. Knowledge is power and the more you know, the more control you have over your financial future. Remember, these aren't just tips, they're tools for your financial toolkit. So are you ready to take control of your finances? The power is in your hands. If you found this information useful and want to continue improving your financial literacy, don't forget to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to join us on this journey towards financial independence.